Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. Hey, this is Diablo 20. And this is episode four of our Agrarian Sky series. How are you doing today, Dyer? I'm good, but you're lying. Oh, no, it's episode five. Oh. Oh. This is why Dyer does the intros. This is why Pahimar is a noob. He can't even count to five. Hey, I thought we figured this out. I'm not a noob. Well, I said you weren't a noob until you do something noobish, and I don't know, man. If we use that rule on you... Yeah? Go on. <laughs> you would be Dire Noob 24-7. No, I'm just Dire Noob 20. Oh, oh dad joked you. <laughs> I'm the one who does the dad jokes around here. Yes, sir. Oh, God, hey, now uh, that by feels the way, really I real. Moved, um, I pulverized and, and kind of cleaned up all of our ores. We have a giant mess of ores. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, uh, but I kind of cleaned it up as much as I could, and I've now got all of our ores in that chest next to the smeltery, so that's kind of like our to-do list, if you will. I would go over there, except we have a giant... Oh, no, it's daylight. We should be okay. Yeah. I'll head over there. I was worried about mob spawning because we're expanding out the platform there because I hear you have some kind of automated oh, magic misplanned. Yeah, I'm getting into automation, and I think I've come up with a really, really good way to automate as much as we can some of these um, things that we're going to start collecting. So I'm kind of gathering resources at the moment. I know I promised you a nice way to chop down trees, but I might want to hold off on that for a little bit if I can. Okay, well, I should grab some charcoal and some more sticks so that I can make more torches. Okay, I won't object to that. I think we're both um, not both. a fan of uh, death. No, death is bad, especially in a hardcore map, right? Yes, yes, we haven't used any of our lives yet, and I'd rather keep it that way. Keep it that way. Okay, yeah, no, I'm cool with that. I am 100% uh, in agreement with not dying. So, hmm, I'm trying to figure out what you're going to build, and I'm thinking you're probably going to show the audience first. Yeah, no, I like the audience more than you. Well, this is a known fact. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember which of these guys is Ferris. Ferris, huh? I'm pretty sure it's Nickel. Nickel's or dictionary with Ferris, isn't it? I believe Ferris, so. Ferris, Nickel or, yes. So it's Nickel or that I need to get a bunch of in here. Uh, nickel, Nickel, Nickel. There's some Nickel. By the way, I stole your axe out of the chest. <gasps> Gasp. You know, I've heard that someone got an axe of the stream on their uh, agrarian skies. What? We need to get that. You're well, in charge of well, getting awesome loot from Quest Rewards. I, I get of... terrible loot and you get awesome loot. Well, the thing is, is that we got such awesome loot out of that ore drop that Jaded nerfed it. Nice. She was, within an hour of that video going live, Jaded's like, yeah, that bag's been nerfed. Well, like Pahamar and Direwolf too strong. Yeah, our luck is too strong is what it is. Hey, remember, shortly after me getting that bag of dust, I got a boat with feather falling. Yeah, but that sounds cool. It does sound cool. It's completely useless. True. That's awesome. What's awesome? What did you do? Since we have 18 slots in our smeltery, when you smelt like a full smeltery's worth of material, you always get a lock amount. So like you don't have to do individual ingots, which is good news. Nice. Yeah, we might want to actually increase the size of Incoming the Incoming nickel. Hooray. I wonder if we can make invar in the smeltery somehow. That would be kind of neat. Not that we really need to, but smelting, redstone furnace, pulverizer, Induction smelter can do it, of course. Ingot caster. I don't know what that is. What's an ingot caster? Molten invar. Smeltery, invar nugget, invar block, invar ingot, invar blend. Doesn't look like there's a way you can combine. Alloy smeltery. Ooh, iron and nickel. Nice. Two iron, one nickel equals molten invar. That's actually good to know. All right, so what I'm going to do, actually, is get a bunch of invar through this process then. So I've got to put... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put as much iron in here as possible. And that should come out with... There's my iron ore dust. 
You know what I'm going to do, actually? Yeah, let's do this. I'd love to know. The audience knows, let's but I don't. Let's see how it goes if I put nine of these in here, because I've currently got 18 molten nickel. So I would have to put in 36 iron, but I'm going to put in 18 iron. You know, I could and be really nasty and just start throwing numbers out at you and see what you do. Yeah, I'd probably yell at you. We should also here. make another chest. I would make more chests, but we're kind of out of wood. Just putting that out there. I'm picking up all the items. Mysterious magnet off. All right, so then you probably that's got what us I need for that stuff. So I'm going to start building the stuff I need for this process. I think what I need to get is a bunch of glass. So let me get a bunch of sand. And then we'll be back in a few minutes, guys, to check out the automation that should really, really increase the speed at which we're gathering resources now, Pahamar. At least that's kind of the plan. We'll see if it works out. By the way, you might want to check your inventory. I believe I just gave you some wood logs. Oh, nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Wow. You had a lot of that stuff hidden. Well, hidden in the trees that I cut down. Oh, well, that's sneaky of you. Well, after Why would I'm you hide done... the wood in the trees? <laughs> <laughs> you are full of dad jokes tonight. I'd be yeah, suspect. Ah, uh, you should be suspect. All right, YouTube. We'll be back in a minute once I've chopped this stuff into sand and smelted it. All right, guys. So we're back, and this is what I'm building. Well, what? this is a blueprint of what I'm building. What is it? It's a thing. It's a thing. It's not well lit up. Yeah, that's lit what, up. I that's what I can see. Yeah, I just checked that too. I was going to say, I only have one torch on me. Can you light it up a little bit? Ta-da! Ta Hooray! See, Dyer gets to build all the cool things. I'm in charge of, like, platforms. That works for me. Of course it does. I'm, I'm like your <laughs> Soren. I guess you could put it that way. Hey, I just, I just spent, like, half an hour hitting dust with a hammer. That's that's true. I just like to uh, hang yeah. out over top of the void. Don't hit me with the, yeah. hammer. the hammer. I won't. I'll, I'll you shoot you with this empty bow. Alright, so this is kind of what I'm building. So I think I'm going to grab this invar, which should be done cooking. Yeah, it is. Look at that. We got three blocks of invar. That's awesome. If I need more, I'll make it. But for now, this should at least get us what we're doing. So we're going to start with some um, power, Mr. Pahamar. Some power. Some power. Yeah. Power sounds like magma. It does. We're going to use lava power since we have basically infinite lava, right? Yeah, we've got a pretty, uh, pretty healthy amount. I've been uh, nourishing these eight crucibles. I'm betting we can automate this too. So, like, my goal is like, there's a lot of ways we can generate power for thermal expansion machines, but pure lava is probably the best way to go at this point, especially because of how renewable the lava is. It's basically just cobblestone in those things makes lava, right? So yep. that's your best yep. bet. And I've got some ideas on that too. Uh, one okay. of the things yeah. I'm probably going to need from you, Mr. Dustmaster, is uh -huh. I'm going to need some redstone. Okay, I've got five of them at the moment, but I want to use some for the automation I'm about to build. Okay, you go ahead and do that. By the okay. way, I finally found a home for our little skeleton buddy. Watch out! Oh. Those actually are real arrows. Where are they coming from? Oh. <laughs> we got that don't from our mob things. spawner. Oh yeah, and I don't think oh, yeah. we mentioned it, we moved the cobble gen over here because we're using a lot of cobble. Yeah, we are. Alright, so I'm going to make um, a magmatic engine. So for that, I need some invar gears. I'm just going to go with one engine for now, and then we'll expand later as necessary. That's like a plan, kind of? Sounds like a kind of plan. All right, I'm also going to need some silver. You know what? I should grab the, the resources that I need. I'll be right back. Excited. What are, what are you what? making? Magmatic dynamo. Nice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the lava power from Thermal Expansion. Lava power, go! <laughs> Pretty much. I'm also making a piston, and you know what I need is some gravel. I have a grumpy dog. Wasn't there a way to make um, flint directly uh, from gravel? Oh, four flint equals gravel. That works for me. 
What is this, equivalent exchange? There's nothing equivalent about it. That'll work. Ooh, it's raining. All right. Pulverizer requires a redstone reception coil. Ooh, I'm short on redstone. So I'm gonna need a little bit more redstone, I think, guys, before we can really build this awesome design that I have. So let me do a little bit more of the sieve stuff and I'll be back. Don't think we have any redstone laying around. No, I don't think no, we do. Don't. Yeah, I think we're pretty much out. The good news is once we do this, we shouldn't really need to do this manually anymore. I love that we're in this awkward uh, getting infrastructure setup phase again, which always happens. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're back and I'm building one more thing. And then I'm gonna put it all together. You ready, Pahamar? I am ready. All right, so I'm building this above ground. Now, obviously I've planned for further expansion of this system, but this is going to be the initial phase of it. And then we're going to expand it further uh, as soon as we get a few more resources, because that's what this thing's all about. So I've got a magmatic dynamo. If you wouldn't mind, actually, could you go fill this up with lava for me? And actually, you know what? I'm gonna set something up real quick. Um, I have copper, I have copper. I have glass, I have glass. So one copper and four glass gets us a very nice thing. This again, temporary until later. All right, if you uh, put lava in that tank, it'll automatically output into the magmatic dynamo. Okay, I'll go grab another bucket. Okay. And I'm going to place my first pulverizer right here, sir. Very good. And then you hooked me up with some item ducts, which was very kind of you. And I'm going to run those guys straight over to here, which will basically be our autonomous activator. Are you watching? Mm -hmm. And then in front of that autonomous activator, I'm placing an oak sieve. And then I'm gonna cover these guys back up like so. You watching? Yep. Do you need okay. the iron bucket? Nope. Next up, I need to make real quick one of these guys. And this is going to go here. And then up here, I'm going to put this. Wah, wah. And I'm going to do this, this, and that. For now. We'll probably clean something up a little nicer later. What is it? Eight blocks border can travel? How long did I make this thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I could push it back one further and then it wouldn't even need anything. It's a good thing I made this as big as I did. Well, I told you I needed a lot of space, right? Oh, do you have any cobble on you? Thank you, sir. I wonder if I should turn on the magnet just to troll you. <laughs> oh, that's one too far. So that was a dire derp for sure. There we go, that should be perfect. Nice. You ready? Yep. So watch, here's what we do. All we have to do is put cobble into this pulverizer, which we can pipe in. The cobble's gonna get turned into gravel. Ta -da. And then the gravel is going to be shot into the autonomous activator, courtesy of this guy. So watch the gravel. It's gone. It's going through the item ducts. It's going into the autonomous activator. 
Now keep an eye on the autonomous activator and gravel should appear in there. And then it's going to be placed into this guy. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically smash away at it. And then when it's complete, if the magnet's off, make sure the magnet's off. Magnet's off. Ta-da! And then the warder is going to push it into the hopper, which is then going to drop it into the chest. Very nice. Is that cool? That is very cool. So then the plan here is, Mr. Bahamar, that we're going to expand this build uh, as such. We're going to have two pulverizers here because the pulverizer can turn gravel into sand. So that's what these two blocks are going to be. And then these three blocks are going to be three pulverizers because that can go gravel into sand into dust. And they will all go into um, the autonomous activators. The other thing I want to have is um, another autonomous activator on the opposite side of the sieve that will increase the speed of it. Because right now it's a little bit slow with one autonomous activator. But if we have two autonomous activators, uh, we'll be just fine. It'll be a little bit faster. So the plan is to have two autonomous activators per sieve. And you can see how this thing is infinitely expandable. If we wanted to, we could have like another layer up and we could have like more water flowing or whatever, right? Um, so if we really want to get even more of it, like easily expandable, uh, we just need to keep adding more autonomous activators and more pulverizers. But from this, we should be able to get every resource available through XNILO totally automated. Man, you did this and I just made you an underground platform. I think you did the more difficult work though because your job was working over a void, remember? Fair enough. Yeah, that's not an easy task. Uh, so I'm actually going to update that chest to an iron chest. I know it's using a bit of iron, but I think it's totally worth it because um, that chest is actually, you know what, I'm going to do it this way, actually. Iron and get, there we go. That, um, that chest is going to really quickly fill up with many different types of items. So what we need to do now, guys, is um, I need to get more pulverizers, more autonomous activators. Um, I definitely want to at least get the dust piece working. Sand doesn't give us a ton of actual unique stuff. As a matter of fact, I might even skip sand a little bit. I mean, we can maybe do one sand, but I think the next set we should alternate. In fact, I might do this. Yeah, let me do this. This. So what we'll do is we'll have gravel sand dust gravel dust gravel dust because sand will only give us um crushed iron and gold ore which we can get from gravel and mm -hmm. sand as well the only unique stuff you get is cocoa beans cactus seeds jungle tree seeds and ancient spores which we kind of have enough of and we could always you know get from just one set of stuff oh no things are falling why are you not behaving i'm gonna put cobble here That'll probably prevent that from happening. There we go. That should um, prevent that little whatever happened just then from happening going forward. The only other caveat to this, if you will, is, let's see, we also get sand from this, though I don't think that's a huge problem. What I think I'm going to do is output this guy to the left, then the sand will make its way into the autonomous activator, and eventually the sand will get used um, with the right-click functionality. It'll get placed in there, and then that sand will get, you know, mashed. So it's not a problem, really, that we get sand from that. It's actually a little bit of a bonus, really. So I'm going to treat it as such. All right, dude. That's uh, that's that's stage one of automated stuff. Did did you want to see my stairway? I do. I want to see the stairway you made. Don't forget to eat. I'm like halfway down on hunger, and I'm like, oh right, I die instantly if I lose much more. <laughs> so, when I was under the effects of a flight potion, I made right. a stairway down to the void. Okay. I'm eating very slowly because I'm only getting half a thing from our watermelons. Okay. Stairway to the void. Yep. And so here, so here, the idea of it was then we'd be able to do layers rather than just infinitely expanding outwards. I like it. So here, we have a nice little spot so we can do piping and whatnot. Awesome. Yeah, do you see why I wanted to do this one layer up? Yep, I can see it. Because... Because now we can just walk up to the chest and get our stuff. We don't have to worry about a chest that's underneath a hopper. Because remember, the hopper doesn't have like the the reduced whatchamacallit thing from uh, the the 
bounding box is not shrunk on a hopper, it's a full-size block. Mm -hmm. So you actually, from above, you can't access the chest. We'd have to go underneath to access the chest. So that's why I built everything one layer up. Cool? Cool. Oh yeah, look, and it's processing the sand. Good. That's what I expected. It should, you know, round rob an item use and eventually it'll get around to using some of the sand that it's building up in there. I'm gonna throw another stack of cobble in. And once we have a second okay. autonomous activator, which by the way, as soon as we get one diamond, I think I can make another one, it'll drastically increase the speed at which that stuff is processed. We just need a diamond. But I mean like this is slow. It'll be faster. <laughs> yeah. Do you happen to have any redstone now? I have two. Um, I'm gonna go uh, see if I can't actually make netherrack, like I heard. Okay. Because I hear that if you add uh, redstone to a crucible of lava, you get nothing. <laughs> Apparently, I was wrong in that. Maybe somebody was trolling you. Drop your redstone in lava, and you'll get. <laughs> Did it destroy the redstone? It didn't. Okay, well that's good at least. In fact, I'm going to have the dust thing here because then I don't have to make more leadstone energy conduits. So that's probably a good thing. Maybe the crucibles just aren't full enough. Hmm. Debating if I want my next autonomous activator to go towards dust or go towards... Yeah. So in order to make another pulverizer or three... I need quite a bit of redstone. I need one, two, three, and then six. So I need nine redstone for the three more pulverizers that I need for this. So I think I'm going to go, while this is automatically running, and as a matter of fact, what I think I'll do, Pahamar, is make... I'm going to make another hopper for now, and then later we're going to convert and make it so that the cobble sten the collagen automatically feeds the pulverizers. But for now, I'm just going to make a hopper and throw five stacks into the hopper. Good deal. YouTube, Good deal. I'll be back once we've got um, what we need to do next, which is basically uh, I need a bunch of redstone so I can set up another line of pulverizers. And hopefully by the time that's done, I will have finished uh, at least getting one diamond from this system because gravel is what makes diamonds, and that's what I need for more autonomous activators at this point. All right, back in a few minutes, guys. So, guys... This is something else we've been dealing with. Um, oh, I hit it. Do you see how long that range shot? That was like a sniper yeah. shot right there. Direwolf is totally call of Minecraft. Oh, that was another go. shot. Oh, what's up? Three in a nice. row. Nice. So our mob spawner oh, occasionally will spawn uh, wisps, and they yeah, cause they a little bit of havoc, which is why we have all these nice fences and longer pathways, because they almost knocked us off several times. Yeah. Did you see those sniper shots? I did. I you had, you what was it, three in a row? Four in a row? Four in a row. I think you missed one, but that was like, that was pro, pro shots right there. I even hit him when he was hitting me with lightning, for the record. For the record, you are correct. <laughs> oh, we got a music disc. Nice. You can listen to music now. Mm. Yeah, we're doing alright, we got three miniature red hearts. Either I'm... Alright guys, we'll be back. Alright guys, we're back and I've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, manual labor has gone into the last few minutes of uh, this thing, but I think we're ready to make a couple more gadgets. First, I have enough stuff to make another autonomous activator, which is ideal because uh, we need another one of those nifty gadgets. So I'm making one and one. Perfect. And now I should be able to make... Cool. I've got another autonomous activator, Mr. Pahamar. Very nice. And now I want to make three, that's right, one, two, three, count them, uh, pulverizers. I feel like we're and going to need to a get the flu decks going yeah. then soon. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. One, two, what am I short on? Iron. Should have more iron around here somewhere. We have open blocks tanks, right? Uh, yes. Those require obsidian, though. Got that. Okay. 
Let's see. I must have iron around here somewhere. I hope. A little bit more iron. Are we really that low on iron? Part of the problem is we have so many chests everywhere. Yeah, I know. We have to get like an organized thing going on. I think we used a lot of iron too as we were doing prep stuff. Alright, I can smelt some more up, but before I do that I should really get rid of the nickel that we have in here because I don't want that to interfere. So I'm going to dump out the, the nickel block. Well, at least I'll get I'll get the two pulverizers going, and then I'll get the third one in a minute. So pulverizer, you, I need three redstone reception coils, and then I should be able to get two pulverizers, and then I'll just get the third one as soon as this iron cooks up. So this setup is going to go right here, and it's going to be one, two, and then eventually a third. And what we're going to have is um, input on the top, output on the left. Now this one will be a problem with the excess that we get because gravel will turn into sand. I guess the sand won't be too much of a problem. We're going to have to figure out a way to export that stuff. It's not going to be the end of the world, but this one will probably be a bit tricky. We might have to relocate these a little bit, but we'll kind of see how it goes. So you're actually going to import from the left and output to the there, and then this one will eventually go here, and then I want to have Wah, 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 wah. There we go, that works. So blue input there, and just to demonstrate autonomous activator, that should be working. Cool. So that will eventually be doing the sand thing. Oh, you know what we need, Pahimar? We need a saw. What do we need the what saw we need for? The saw for? Uh, we're going to need a piece of stick and all that cool stuff. Uh, I want to use um, covers. Is there anything we can salvage from the uh, the island? Um, We could, but we might as well just make it because it wouldn't hurt. I had oh some yeah, you can totally there. see the wisp in there. Oh yeah. I blocked him in. Good. I have some smooth stone around here somewhere. If not, yeah, there we go. Cool. Saws are actually pretty easy to make. I think I can go with a flint one, and then I should be able to saw up cobblestone with that. But let's see. If not, I can go with dirt. Oh yeah, I can do cobblestone with that one. Perfect. And by now, my lead should be pretty close to done. Or my iron, I mean. This eating thing is rough, dude. At least we have a lot of food now. Yeah, that's good news. Alright, so iron ready to go. I should be able to make my third pulverizer now. Oh, I need another piece of copper. Thought I had more of that laying around. Be right back. What are you looking for? Copper? I know I've got some somewhere. There's a piece. Oh, there it is. I had it all blocked. Yeah, I found it, guys. I had it in block form. There we go, the third pulverizer. Perfect. And then I think uh, that should be good. So then up here, you ready, Pahamar? I'm going to finish this up. Yeah, I'm on my yeah. way over. Cool. So these guys to here, and then we need a cover separating these guys. And then we need an item duct here. 
and this guy is set to red. And that should be that. So if I put a stack of cobblestone in here now, what we should wind up with is eventually dust making its way into the system, and we'll be good. Just have to figure out how I'm going to handle in a compact manner. Like, I can definitely handle it through the back output here, but I kind of wanted to have the next line be more pulverizers all in a row. So, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I, I do have an idea or two. Oh, I just saw the dust go in. Cool. And it should be uh, smashing it up. Yeah, look at it go. Nice. Ooh, and I got some pulverized stuff. Cool, man. I think we got uh, some progress here. Ooh, another diamond. Cool. I think I can make another um, autonomous activator now. You get to make and autonomous I think stuff. To. I try. I, I aim to please. Oh, you know what it is? I need more redstone first. I need two pieces of redstone, but that automated dust thing should be getting us redstone at this point. So let me make sure I have everything else I need for... I'll check on that redstone for you. Okay, so I got these two. I've got two invar. I need two redstone, and I need some wood. This appetite's gonna be nice for when we get some forestry farms going. Yeah, we actually get a decent amount of appetite from this stuff. And like I said, sand, you don't really get much useful from. I mean, we get some stuff, but nothing that looks terribly useful to me, unless there's something mod-related that's added. So the, much Thongcraft uh, Amber. Yeah. You do get a lot of that, too, which is... I don't know how useful that is, to be honest with you. Oh, this is this is really nice. I'm not going to lie, dude. I am really pleased with uh, the fact that we're getting this this quickly, because... This was really painful to do manually. You can thank my OP uh, loop bag. Yeah, it is. Cool. I'm just smashing the sand, the dust right now. Hopefully, I'll get a piece of redstone pretty quickly. It usually doesn't take too long to get some redstone. All right. Any in there yet? You don't have any, right? Redstone by chance? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, no problem. How's our power, by the way? Are we producing enough power for this? Looks like we have a net loss, so I should get another magmatic going on soon. But I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, YouTube, I'll be back in a minute once I've got... Oh, second piece of redstone. Nice. That should be we're good. also going to want to expand our crucibles, crucibles now that you have that much, have that uh, much. lava demand going on. Yeah, I don't know. I think we can automate the crucibles, and yep, I don't we can. know. Yep, we can. I don't know how fast they work. If they work fast enough, we might have enough. But we might want to actually just put them behind where the magmatic engines are, or maybe just build out a new little platform back there so that we can put a couple crucibles there. I don't know if we want to move what we have or. My thought was that levels. we move these down a level, and uh, we start setting up rows of them uh, into uh, a set of tanks, and then have fluid ducts from the tanks up to the magmatics. Okay, that works for me. But right now I'm building out another platform so we can move our farms. Cool. Alright guys, next part of this build will be the second autonomous activator, which doesn't need to be hooked up to anything, but it's just going to uh, increase the speed at which this thing uh, works. So all I have to do is put this guy there and... And now, if we watch from the top here, we should see the gravel operating a lot faster than the dust. See how much faster the gravel's going? It's twice as fast now to break Ooh. stuff down. Ooh. It's all right. Just throw <laughs> it in the chest. <laughs> oh, what'd you get? A diamond? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. You might want to put like some put glass like... blocks over top of this to further restrict things. We can. So now we just need uh, another two diamonds and a little bit more redstone, and I can make another autonomous activator. So one more diamond, actually, because, you know, we're there. Um, but with the this sand really, and the gravel that we've got... This uh, is exponentially on, growing. Right? Like, that that was my plan, is that this thing can easily be expanded. Right now, like I said, my only problem is the excess dust and sand that we get. And I'm actually curious to see if two activators is enough to keep up with the pulverizers. 
I'm hoping that it is. I'm thinking maybe even like pull out some gravel and stuff and just, all right, so we've got a stack of gravel in there. I'm going to come back in a few minutes and see if we have more or less than a stack of gravel. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, it looks like we have more gravel now than we had a minute or two ago, so it does not look like two is fast enough for the sieve. We can put a third one in here um, and keep it expanded. It's actually below the sieve. I'm pretty sure it'll work. I haven't actually tested it, but I'm pretty sure it will. Maybe I'll test it between this episode and next. But speaking of between this episode and next, Pahamar, it looks like it's time to wrap up. Yes, it is. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we've hit that point. So, guys, we'll be back next episode. Um, I'm going to continue to expand this automation scene. Um, but basically, the more we add to this, the more amounts of crazy stuff we're going to have, right? So we'll be back next episode. We do need to uh, increase our lava power. Well, actually, lava uh, power is actually not looking too bad. Um, so no, it's just we'll a little bit more manually babysitting that tank. Yeah, that's all there really is to it right now. But eventually, maybe next episode two, we'll get towards hooking up, like, automating crucibles to make lava automatically. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. All right. Guys, this is Dial20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you're enjoying the series so far, and take it easy.